Not even if. Today we are visiting Green Energy, and this is Carl, our CEO. Carl, could you explain to us why do you guys use CIGS technology at Green Energy? Well, we only uh, manufacture things that has to go on a vehicle. So that's why we are called MIPV.pro, Mobile Integrated Photovoltaic. And that's another condition than uh, being on a house or out on a free field installation uh, with solar cells. There is uh, three reasons why we uh, use the CIDS technology. First of all, it's a moral and ethical uh, point. Because the worst thing about uh, this technology, the crystalline technology, is that uh, actually it's by 92.7 uh, according to the recent study, um, produced in, uh, in forced labor in concentration camps around the world that's, well, not places where we want to be. So it's a moral thing. We know that this is not the best uh, for, for the workers and, uh, well, it also takes a lot of energy. And that's the second thing, okay, is the CO2 footprint. Because this is actually a technology that needs a lot of energy. That means that also, accordingly to the last uh, study on the field, this can have up to 42 years CO2 payback time. I mean, the carbon emission here is quite hefty. And we can argue, okay, 42 years, does it make sense to even make it? And especially on a vehicle, uh, that's something else. And then we can also argue, okay, Technically, is this the right uh, solution for um, a vehicle? Well, on your house, hopefully your house doesn't shake and twist and turn just like a vehicle. And also the free field uh, uh, plants, hopefully, is standing still. So nothing happens. And, uh, and that's, that's important. Because if we shakes, this technology shakes, it also breaks. And smart people say, okay, <laughs> but then we just put it into a laminate. Then we have solved the whole issue. Bullshit. There's nothing solved in that. It will still break, but now you cannot see it. And that's the smart for the seller's point. You can't see that it's broken. So uh, yes, we have to say that this technology is not a technology that's viable for a vehicle. So what's the difference to the CIDS? The CIDS technology that we use is uh, stainless steel where we deposit our material on it. We only use 3% of, uh, of the ground substance that you will use for a normal solar cell. We also only use 3% of uh, the energy. That's why we count the CO2 payback time on this technology in months, not in years. And that's a huge, huge, huge difference. So we have moral ethics, that's one thing. Then we have the CO2 payback time, the, that's the second thing. But then, what about if we use this uh, different technologies on a vehicle? Well, I want to show you something about angles. We, uh, we have another technology, as you see, it also works here, today, with no sunlight or anything, because in reality, this is not a solar cell, it's a light cell. And you see, no shadow issues, no problem at all. And it cannot break. Not even if we go berserk. It, it, it's completely irrelevant. It will still work. And by the way, with 25 years warranty on the production. But still, we cannot, on a vehicle, have the uh, ability of having the right angle towards the sun. It's simply, uh, it's simply not possible. Or it is. You can try it. It's very, very much fun. Try to run on two wheels. It's uh, fantastic, but your passengers won't like it. So let's try to work with the angles. I got a replica of the sun, and as you see, yes, of course, more light, better production. But the CIDS technology also reacts 
even if it lies flat. Let's try the same with the crystalline technology that we mounted on this small car. Well, it still have a problem. Actually, you have to have exactly the right angle before it runs. So, that's the third reason. Either you have to drive like this to get it to work as it should, or you use the CIDS technology. It's that simple. One, two, three. Have a good weekend.